this take on sort of universal credit in the way these pathfinders have done, which, as it says earlier in the report at uh, paragraph 2.3, is a limited eligibility, single people without major uh, family connections and without savings. And then they will build, as the, as the report suggests, to taking on couples and then people with dependents. Finally, moving into the area that will impact directly on my area, which is with regard to housing benefits. Uh, at the moment, no one who is on housing benefits in the country is actually moving on to universal credit. That will come later on. The report then details some of the uh, authority led pilots, the work that's going on with regards to the local support services framework, which is how this local authority will work with the DWP as people move on to universal credit in the local area, and some of the work that we are undertaking here. Um, clearly, the other, the other area I wanted to highlight, although this is about universal credit, that is to make it clear this is for working age people with universal credit. Pension credit, which is already in one guy's already here, that will then be extended to move people who currently get housing benefit, which will be paid directly here. That will move into pension credit, but that will be some time after. So we are looking at, as the report suggests, that we are looking at a, at a fairly lengthy time scale. Currently, no charm change has gone in with regards to when this finishes, which is 2017, should be the handover. That is still the target that the DWP are working to. And clearly, this is one of the most major benefit reforms. There are others, as the report suggests, that we're dealing with on a daily basis. Um, but this one will be uh, the biggest uh, movement, and we await information from the DWP.